Hello friends, today we would be learning about the properties of ammonium dichromate. Ammonium dichromate with its chemical formula being NH4 twice Cr2O7 is an inorganic compound which has orange colored crystalline structure. It has chromium in plus 6 oxidation state that is commonly known as the hexavalent chromium ion. Ammonium dichromate is synthesized in the laboratory by reaction of chromium trioxide that is chromic acid with ammonium hydroxide. The compound is very well soluble in water and in this clip you see few crystals of ammonium dichromate getting dissolved in water. It forms a yellow to orange colored solution. Now let us see the thermal decomposition of ammonium dichromate. Here I have heaped up some ammonium dichromate crystals on this piece of tile and I am adding some ethanol over it so that it can burn easily. Now let us burn the ammonium dichromate. The reaction starts off by giving orange colored sparks and throws green colored chromium 3 oxide into air. This produces a miniature volcano like effect. What's happening here is that ammonium dichromate is thermally decomposing to produce chromium 3 oxide, nitrogen gas and water vapor. One thing that I notice quite interesting is that even though there is loss of mass of the compound by formation of gaseous substances like nitrogen and water vapor, the volume occupied by the chromium 3 oxide that is produced is much more than the crystalline ammonium dichromate. In this process, the hexavalent ammonium dichromate that is chromium 6 plus is actually getting reduced to chromium 3 plus. After the reaction is complete, we are left with this green fluffy thing that is the chromium 3 oxide. Now let us do something interesting with the green colored chromium 3 oxide that is the catalytic oxidation of ammonia. Here I have taken a very large Erlenmeyer flask that is a 500 milliliter flask into which I am adding about 2 to 3 ml of ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium hydroxide is liquid and now I will be heating the ammonium hydroxide liquid so that it forms the ammonia gas and mixes with the air inside the Erlenmeyer flask. In the next step I heat up some of the chromium 3 oxide formed on a Bunsen burner flame until the compound becomes red hot. Heat up the chromium 3 oxide until it is red hot and we quickly transfer this into the Erlenmeyer flask containing the ammonia. You immediately see flashes of light looking like fireflies inside the flask and this was the oxidation of ammonia with the help of chromium 3 oxide catalyst. Now let us see some reactions with ammonium dichromate. First of all we will be seeing the reaction of ammonium dichromate with hydrogen peroxide. On adding the hydrogen peroxide there is formation of a dark blue colored chromium peroxide formed. There is also a brisk effervescent scene due to release of oxygen gas. On adding potassium metabisulfite, which is a reducing agent, the plus 6 oxidation state of ammonium dichromate has been transformed to or reduced into plus 3 oxidation state. And you can see the color has turned from orange to green. Now let us see some precipitation reaction. With lead salt, it gives a yellow precipitate of lead chromate. And this is used in the qualitative analysis of lead ions. A similar reaction occurs when we add ammonium dichromate into a barium salt. 
on adding the ammonium dichromate you can see a pale yellow colored precipitate of barium chromate is formed. Now let us see the reaction of ammonium dichromate with silver nitrate. I am adding some ammonium dichromate solution into silver nitrate. You can see that on adding the ammonium dichromate there is formation of a red colored precipitate of silver dichromate. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the contents of this video, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my new videos.